Good morning. Hello, this is Deb with Phenomenal Flowers. I have spent the past 45 minutes using three different ring lights and three different ways to try to get this video set up. But if you don't try, you just fail. So I'm going to do the best I can. Today, I would first like to say my name is Deb from Phenomenal Flowers and Gifts. And I would like to show you today how to make the lazy bow. Okay, so I took... Um, four strips of the red and white check, four strips of the black and white check, and also four strips of the sheer fabric. Um, the black and white check and the red fabric came from uh, Factory Direct Crafts and the black and white came from Hobby Lobby. Okay, they're approximately 12 to 14 inches long. I really don't measure it. I just went by how much ribbon that I had left on each one. So the first thing that you need to, and I'm really used to cutting the ends of the ribbon off um, to a point and don't lose anything when I'm making it to save on the length of the ribbon so that's why they're pointed but in actuality they don't need to be pointed okay so I usually just use um, two staples in each loop um, to get them ready to go okay so there's two on this one and two on that one and then on the larger one, you're going to do the same thing. Just going to use two staples. That's one. And I know it snags a little bit sometimes, but it's in the back, so it won't show. And then we're going to do the next one. Just put the ends together. And staple twice. Tell me I'm out of staples. Well, for the sake of the video, if I don't have to start over, I'm not going to. Um, so then on the longer pieces, sorry, that's a long piece. I cut them in um, half also. This ribbon came with 11 pieces in a box from Factory Direct Crafts. I bought like 10 boxes, about five boxes one time. And then the next time they were still on sale for, I think, $2.99 for... 11 pieces that are about 40 inches in length so I thought it was a really good deal and could be used for a lot of different things so I bought a lot of it okay so next thing you're going to do is put together your bow um, you can slant them if you want to or if you don't want to slant them that's okay as well um, I'm, I'm going to slant these to make it a little bit wider and a little bit more elegant and a little bit more festive so once you have all of the pieces together, you're going to take a zip tie and just zip tie it. These zip ties are too small for anything, um, but I, I like the, I hate the fact that they're small, but I like the fact that when you use them, they don't really show up on your item that you're making at all. It really turns out neat. Okay, you're going to keep turning it and pulling it until it's really taut. And see, already you have a bow. You have four pieces, and your bow sticks out, etc., etc., etc. I hope everybody's having a great day. Um, I'm a teacher and an instructor in person, and doing things online. Mostly I'm just doing it for posterity's sake, so I have a record of it. But the other reason I'm doing it is because I'm trying to learn something new. You don't ever want to get to the point that you're not learning something. So this is the bow that I've done so far. And then next, you're going to use the longer pieces. So what I do for the longer piece is I just make a loop, and then I make another loop. For like a two-part loop like that. And if you rather do it the easier way, you do like the, the bow that people use for like um, red ribbon or pink ribbon, it looks like a loop. So you push it down till it's only a little bit hanging off the end. You take the middle of the loop and push it down like this and see that makes it have tails on it. So then you're going to add that to the back of that with another zip tie and that makes um, three. That's too small. So I'm going to do it again, make it a little bit longer, and so 
we can have it come out like this. I don't know why I'm so nervous, but that's part of it. I'm learning. I'm teaching and I'm learning. I'm learning and I'm teaching. So instead of doing it the way I was going to do it, I'm just going to make it fold over, fold over, so the ends can stick out. And I want to make sure that it sticks out of the back just a little bit. So you want the bow to be of a good size so people will have a more value add inside their head. Um, I had a book once. Somebody borrowed it and never gave it back. And it was uh, from Martha Stewart. And the main thing she said was um, create value. And one of the things that I took from that was usually when I do something, I um, make sure that it's in a bag. Um, the little tool bags don't cost 12 cents. But as far as the value of the item, it went from being an item to being a gift. And once it goes from just being an item into being a gift, it costs more because it has more value. So um, what I'm going to do next is just take the other zip tie and put it on the back side. I usually fold it. I'm going to keep every error in this video because I want to see how well I do, how much I grow. Because if this wasn't a video, I would already have finished. But since it is a video, I'm second guessing myself. And that's okay to do. Sometimes you have to second guess yourself because the first idea you had probably wasn't the best one. But if you keep at it, you'll get better at it. And to me, that's the only thing. I don't say it's the only thing, but that's the most important thing to always grow and to always get better. And see, now you have the two bows together. So what I do next, I just lay that down. I take another smaller piece of ribbon and I fold it in thirds. When I fold it in thirds, it's gonna cover up the tie. You're gonna fold it over. I'm gonna cut off the ends of the small zip ties. Then you're gonna turn it over, get close to the middle tie it really tight. See now you have two ends that you can either have hang down or you can tie it onto your package and the bow will still be intact. So have it really tight. Then take your snippers or your scissors, cut the ends off and voila there's your bow. I don't have anything to put it on at the moment so I'm just going to use this bottle so you can see the ends just tie around the back side and then sometimes most of the time because it's a little long I wind up tying it in the front once I tie it in the front on the bottle side I'm just going to pull it and then you're going to fluff it out and that's what makes the bow great the first two ribbons are wired first one's wired a lot so you can do almost anything with it um, the last one is not wired heavily, so that makes it a little bit hard to stick out. Okay, I did it. Looks terrible, but I did it. So I'm only going to get better from here, and I'm not going to erase it. <sighs> breathe. One of my favorite sayings is the best is yet to come, so I'm going to keep breathing and keep trying. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks so very, very much for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.